To balance this equation, barium plus water yields barium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. Let's add the atoms up on both sides of the equation. We have one barium atom, we have two hydrogen atoms, and one oxygen. Over here, we have the one barium, and this two is going to go to everything in the parentheses. So for the hydrogens, two times the one, that gives us two hydrogens. Two times the one oxygen, that gives us two oxygen atoms. And I forgot that we have these two out here. So we have these two hydrogen, two times one, plus these two right here. That gives us four hydrogens. So be sure to count all of the hydrogens there on the product side. Let's see, we've got hydrogens four, hydrogens two over here, oxygens we have two, and then one. Looks like if I put a two as my coefficient in front of the water, That'll apply to everything here, the H's and the oxygen. So two times two, that'll give me four hydrogen atoms. And then the one times the two, that'll give me two oxygen atoms. And this equation will be balanced. Everything on the reactant side and the product side, we have the same numbers. We're obeying the law of conservation of mass. That's the balanced equation for Ba plus H2O yields BaOH2 plus H2. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.